Hi guys, this is Medicine Simplified. Today we are going to see about the overview of obstetrics. Before to see about the overview, we should know about the what is obstetrics. Obstetrics, it is the field of study concentrated on pregnancy, childbirth and postmortem period. Obstetricians also train to handle pregnancy complications such as ectopic pregnancy. In ectopic pregnancy, fetus grows outside of the uterus and with the signs of fetal distress. In fetal distress, fetus receiving low oxygen supply because of problems with placenta like placental abruption or placental insufficiency and sometimes problem with the umbilical cord like long or prolapse. You will see data laterally about that. In preeclampsia, mother having high blood pressure, it is usually begins after 20 weeks of pregnancy in women whose blood pressure had been normal. It is caused due to genetic factors, blood vessel problem, having a history of high blood pressure and autoimmune disorders. Next, we are going to see about the basic medical terms and definitions during pregnancy and childbirth. I think most of the medical students are already mastered about this well known already. But if you are still confusing or forgetting about these terms, this is will be helpful for you. Let's go. Abortion or abortus. A fetus or embryo is removed or expelled from the uterus during the first half of gestation that is 20 weeks or less and fetus born weight less than 500 gram is also known as spontaneous miscarriage. Amniotic fluid. A liquid surrounds a baby inside the uterus as a productive liquid contained by amniotic sac around the uterus. Antenatal means before birth and antepartum hemorrhage is bleeding from the vagina before pregnancy. Upcar test. Upcar score is a test given one minute after a baby is born. Then again five minutes later, the does a a baby's appearance, skin color, pulse, heart rate, grimace, reflex and activity, muscle tone and respiration. A perfect upcar score is 10. Typical upcar scores are 7, 8 or 9. Less than 7 indicates baby might need help breathing. We will see detailedly about the upcar score in another video. Birth canal. It is a passageway made up of cervix and vagina that the baby travels through the birth. Normally, birth canal is a muscular canal. It goes from the uterus to the outside of the body. Birth canal provides a passageway for the blood and mucosal tissue from the uterus during a woman's menstrual cycles. And after the sexual intercourse, it holds the sperms until they pass into the uterus. Braxton Higgs contraction. It is a false labor. It is typically short, not painful. It is not come at regular intervals and is not accompanied by any bleeding or fluid. It is a tightening of the uterus that may feel like a labor contraction. And breaking of water is also known as amniotomy. When a healthcare practitioner busts the sac holding the amniotic fluid using an instrument with a pointy tip. Next, breech presentation when the baby is positioned inside the uterus with his bottom or feet down instead of head. In variations like complete breach, incomplete breach, and frank breach. In complete breach presentation, both of the baby's knees are bent and his feet and bottom are close to the birth canal. In incomplete breach, one of the baby's knees bent, foot and bottom are close to the birth canal. Next, frank breach. This is the most common in breach presentation when the baby is like folded flat up against his head and his bottom closest to the birth canal. Also foot link bridge where one or both feet are presenting. Caesarean section also called a C-section. It is a surgical procedure in which a baby is delivered through a cut in the abdomen and uterus. Low transverse incisions are most common. Cervix is a narrow lower end of the uterus that softens and opens during labor to allow the baby to come out. Conception, the process of becoming pregnant when a sperm and egg join to form a single cell. Contraction, the often strong and painful tightening of uterus during labor. Contractions happening in labor that causes to dilate that helps and push the baby through the birth canal. Crowning is a time during labor when the baby's head has reached the external vaginal opening can be seen from outside. Crowning occurs in the second stage of the labor and cervix fully dilated. That is fetal descent through the birth canal. 
Ectopic pregnancy is when a fertilized egg implants and grows outside of the uterus, usually in the fallopian tube. In most cases, ectopic pregnancy is not viable. Embryo, the name given to a fertilized egg from the time of conception until the 8th week. Epidural is a type of anesthetic drug commonly used in labor, used to numb the lower half of the body. Fallopian tubes, it is a narrow tex or uterine tubes. In the woman's abdomen, they carry the egg from the ovaries to the uterus. This is where fertilization most often occurs. Fertility, being able to conceive and carry a baby throughout an end of the pregnancy. Fertility treatment is a medical treatment that helps a woman conceive. First degree tear, a tear involving only the perineal skin adjacent to the vaginal opening occurs at the time of delivery that does not always require stitches. First trimester, it is the first 14 weeks of the pregnancy. Folic acid is a vitamin B found naturally in green leafy vegetables that helps to prevent anemia, to reduce the incidence of some birth defects including spina bifida. Fontanelles, the six soft parts on a baby's head that allow its skull to compress during birth so it can pass through the birth canal. The fontanelles completely fuse by the time the child is 2 years old. Forceps is a tongue shaped instrument placed around the baby's head to help it travel through the birth canal during childbirth. Full term when a pregnancy in a normal duration of 37 to 42 weeks of gestation. Gestation the length of time in days or weeks that the, that the baby is in the uterus. Gestational diabetes it is a condition develops during the pregnancy when a woman's blood sugar too high because inadequate lack of insulin. This condition is treatable and usually disappears after pregnancy. Hemorrhage is excessive bleeding. Home birth is labor or delivery takes place at home under the supervision of a midwife. Immunization is the administration of vaccine often by injection that makes the body resistant to certain bacteria or virus. In utero, setum means inside the uterus. Incontinence and inability to control bladder or bowel movements. In vitro fertilization, it is a process used to conceive a child outside the body where a woman's sink or fertilized with a man's sperm then placed onto the woman's uterus. We already seen about the low birth weight and men. Meconium, a thar like substance passed by a baby as their first poo, passing meconium before birth may be a sign of fetal distress. Meconium aspiration syndrome is when a newborn breathes a mixture of meconium and amniotic fluid into the lungs around the time of the delivery. And morning sickness is nausea, vomiting and aversions to certain foods and smells that affect most pregnant women to some degree. Morning sickness can occur at any time of the day, usually begins at 4 to 8 weeks gestation and generally subsides by the 16th week of pregnancy. Multiple pregnancy when a woman is carrying more than one baby. Natural birth is a vaginal delivery rather than a cesarean section. Neonatal period from a baby's birth to 4 weeks of age. Neonatal intensive care unit NICU. It is a high level of special medical care for the babies. Ovaries is female reproductive organs that release eggs into the fallopian tubes where they may be fertilized if sperm are present. Ovum, a human egg, pelvic floor exercises, exercise a woman can do strengthen the muscles in around her vagina. Perineal hematoma was a collection of blood resembling a bruise in the area between the vagina and the anus. Perineum, the area between the vagina and the anus. The placenta is the organ that connects the wall of the uterus that nourishes the baby through the umbilical cord. Placenta develops in uterus during pregnancy. It provides oxygen and nutrients to the growing baby from the mother's bloodstream. Postnatal after birth. Postnatal depression is a condition affects some mothers in days, weeks, or months after giving birth. Postmortem hemorrhage when a woman loses more than 500 milliliter of blood after birth. Premature baby is born before 37 weeks of gestation. Prenatal means before birth. 
second degree tear a tear of the perineum involving both skin and muscles but not the anus second degree tears often require stitches second stage labor from the complete dilatation of cervix 10 cm to the birth of the baby second trimester time from 14 weeks to 26 weeks of pregnancy spina bifida a birth defect that occurs during the first month of pregnancy when a baby's backbone does not fully close the leaving part of the spinal cord is exposed spina bifida cannot be cured but range of treatments and management options still available spontaneous labor is when labor starts by itself without medical help still birth is death of baby after 20 weeks of gestation but before birth stitch marks is discolored stippy patterns that can appear on the abdomen breast buttocks or legs during pregnancy because of skin stitching they usually fade slowly after delivery tens machine a tens cervical nerve stimulation machine used for pain management during labor third or fourth degree tear is a severe tear of the perineum involving the skin muscles and anus stitches are used to repair these tears third stage labor the time from the birth of the baby to the delivery of the placenta the trimester the time from 26 weeks of pregnancy onwards trimester a time span of 3 months during pregnancy marked by different phases of fetal development ultrasound a scan of woman's uterus and baby during pregnancy and umbilical cord uterus a woman's womb thank you for watching my video from starting to end hope you learned something today